The H-1B guy here, and today, the H-1B guy forecast, August 2021, Visa Bulletin, Employment-Based Predictions. Well, it's the first Monday of the month, and that means it's time for my monthly Employment-Based Visa Bulletin Predictions. But before we get started, I'd like to ask you, if you haven't already, to please subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube and like this video so that I can continue to produce more content like this for you. I also wanted to mention the H1B Guy offers a variety of consulting services. I help businesses and individuals solve complex work authorization issues in the recruitment process while bringing awareness to employment-based immigration benefits. If I can help you, please reach out. I'd love to hear how. Today's post is brought to you by RecruiterNetworks.com, the smart solution for digital perm ads and local job postings since 2001. And also by Path to Canada, the ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. If you're facing an H-1B denial or OPT expiration, don't get caught off guard. Make sure you have a plan B and Path to Canada is your answer. And also by Perm Ads. Perm-ads.com is the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification process. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful 4th of July celebrating America's independence. Definitely one of my favorite holidays. I also wanted to thank everyone who checked out the H-1B Guy Forecast July 2021 Visa Bulletin Employment-Based Predictions posted back on June 1st. And also thank you for checking out the H-1B Guy Grades July 2021 Visa Bulletin Predictions versus the actual bulletin release that was posted on June 17th where I reviewed my July 2021 forecast. If you're new to this channel, I cover employment-based immigration benefits, including the monthly visa bulletin predictions. Last month, I graded out at 38%, 6 out of 16. I'll continue to use the bulletins from six months prior and last month's bulletin to identify if there's any noticeable trends. Starting with July 2021's visa bulletin, number of days forward movement month over month, and the number of days forward movement over the last six months from February 2021 visa bulletin. So let's jump right into the July 2021 visa bulletin number starting with final action dates for India. EB1, which was July 1st, 2021, 30 days forward movement, and 547 days forward in the last six months. EB2, June 1st, 2011, 182 days forward movement month over month, and 597 days forward in the last six months. EB3, January 1st, 2013, 550 days forward movement month over month, and 1,006 days forward in the last six months. Moving on to China for final action dates in EB1, July 1st, 2021. Uh, 30 days forward movement, 547 days forward in the last six months. EB2, December 1st, 2017. 244 days forward movement month over month and 550 days forward in the last six months. For China EB3 final action dates, January 1st, 2019, 122 days forward movement month over month and 244 days forward in the last six months. El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras for EB4 for final action dates, December 1st, 2018, 30 days forward movement month over month and 230 days forward in the last six months. And then wrapping up with Mexico EB4 final action dates, February 1st, 2020, 92 days forward movement month over month and 413 days forward in the last six months. Moving on to dates of filing for Indian EB1 for the July 2021 visa bulletin, July 1st, 2021, 30 days forward movement month over month, 243 days forward in the last six months. For EB2, December 1st, 2011, 122 days forward movement month over month at 200 days forward in the last six months. And then EB3, February 1st, 2014, 31 days forward movement month over month and 31 days forward in the last six months. 
For China, dates of filing for EB1, July 1st, 2021, 30 days forward movement month over month, and 243 days forward in the last six months. For EB2, July 1st, 2018, 181 days forward movement month over month, and 638 days forward in the last six months. And EB3, July 1st, 2019, 181 days forward movement month over month, and 395 days forward movement in the last six months. And then wrapping up with El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, EB4 dates of filing, March 1st, 2019, 59 days forward movement month over month, and 181 days forward in the last six months. So with all that being said, let's forecast the August 2021 Visa Bulletin for employment-based preferences. Disclaimer, these dates are completely made up guesses based on my own personal hunches and historical data. For August 2021 Visa Bulletin, the H-1B Guy forecast, final action dates for India and EB-1, August 1st, 2021, EB-2, November 1st, 2011, EB-3, April 1st, 2013. For final action dates for China, for EB-1, August 1st, 2021, EB-2, March 1st, 2018, EB-3, April 1st, 2019. For El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, EB-4 final action dates, February 1st, 2019. And for Mexico, EB-4 final action dates, April 1st, 2020. Moving on to dates of filing for Indian EB-1, August 1st, 2021, EB-2, February 1st, 2012, EB-3, February 1st, 2014. For China, dates of filing in EB-1, August 1st, 2021, EB-2, September 1st, 2018 and EB-3, September 1st, 2019. And wrapping up with El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, dates of filing in EB-4, May 1st, 2019. So to recap, I'm forecasting final action for EB-1 India will move 31 days forward, final action EB-2 India will move 152 days forward, final action EB-3 for India will move 90 days forward, final action EB-1 for China will move 31 days forward, Final action EB-2 for China will move 90 days forward. Final action EB-3 for China will move 90 days forward. Final action EB-4 for El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras will move 62 days forward. Final action for EB-4 for Mexico will move 60 days forward. Dates of filing for India EB-1 will move 31 days forward. Dates of filing for India EB-2 will move 62 days forward. No movement for dates of filing for India EB-3. Dates of filing for China EB-1 will move 31 days forward. Dates of filing for China EB-2 will move 62 days forward. Dates of filing for China EB-3 will move 62 days forward. And dates of filing for EB-4 for El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras will move 61 days forward. Now it's time to forecast the release date for August Visa Bulletin. I'm predicting Wednesday, July 21st, 2021 as the release date for August 2021's Visa Bulletin with Thursday, July 22nd, 2021 and Tuesday, July 20th, 2021 as my second and third options. So recapping the release dates again, Wednesday, July 21st, 2021, Thursday, July 22nd, 2021 and Tuesday, July 20th, 2021. Once the August 2021 Visa Bulletin is released, I'll put together the H-1B Guy grades to see how I did with this month's predictions. For the full post on the H-1B Guy forecast, August 2021 Visa Bulletin employment-based predictions, please check out the h1bguy.com. And a reminder that today's post was brought to you by RecruiterNetworks.com, the smart solution for digital perm ads and local job posting since 2001. This national job board network provides recruitment websites in 1,024 major U.S. metro areas. Each local job board is its own portal and is a low-cost resource for immigration recruitment ads for all industries and professions with a flat price of $225 per ad or $1,000 per month regardless of which city you choose. RecruiterNetworks.com. Tell them the H-1B guy sent you. And this post is also brought to you by Path to Canada. Path to Canada provides an ideal plan B for high-skilled immigrants currently located in the U.S. whose status may be uncertain. If you're facing an H-1B denial or OPT expiration, don't get caught off guard. Make sure you have a plan B and Path to Canada is your answer. They will help you navigate the process. If you're interested in finding out more, 
please be sure to click the link in the video description below. And last but not least, this post is also brought to you by Perm Ads. Perm-ads.com is the industry leader in providing a seamless experience for employers and immigration attorneys navigating the complex perm recruitment ad phase of the labor certification. Wanna ask you again to please like this video, subscribe to the H1B Guy channel here on YouTube, and click the bell for notifications so that you're notified anytime we post new content here to this channel. If you've made it this far, I just wanna say thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate your support. The H1B Guy, your global source for all things H1B.